The concept from the school from the beginning was to design around the parallel block school system, which is a scheduling system. From the get-go, we had a building that had to facilitate a lot of movement all throughout the building. They have eight periods where they change classes. Um, and so it gave us an opportunity to do a lot of things in the corridors, create breakout spaces, create these kind of non-traditional learning spaces and combine it with enough transparency in the building to give it a sense of passive supervision so that the building could be really, really efficient as a teaching and learning place. The term I like to use is uh, the building is an educational ecosystem. Um, and what I mean by that is we had an opportunity in that we, were, we built right up against a forest. We had a very challenging site, a long, thin site that was mostly east-west. Well, east is really bad um, for schools in terms of an elevation. And so we created a kind of an E-shaped parti, um, which allowed us, and then we, we were very tight up against a 80-year-old deciduous mixed oak forest. And so that, that E-shape allowed us to kind of create this finger joint relationship with the forest. The idea of building as a teaching tool, um, we did all the things that you would see in a green school in terms of signage that talks about how much energy is being saved and why you should cut the lights off, but we extended that to the world around them. And we felt that was a critically important part of a school. They, they have enthusiastically embraced it. Um, you know, we've had, we've now we've got a full 12 months of data, and so we've been able to show that they've saved a um, little less than $72,000 in operating costs. And this is in a budget environment when they're laying off teachers. So to be able to go and, and say those things immediately is important. But um, the idea of stewardship that comes out of it is what has really resonated. The kids, the day they moved in, they got it. They didn't need an instruction manual. And they took to all of the breakout spaces, and they took to the corridors. And most importantly, they took to the forest, this place that kind of seemed maybe dangerous or out of bounds, or even though it was a public park, all of a sudden they're all over the forest because the school's all about it and it's, it's integrated so tightly into it. <laughs>